Microsoft's new Edge browser isn't out yet, but I got my hands on it. What's up, everybody? Brad here, back again. And uh, as I've been talking about for a while, Microsoft's new Edge browser. It's the Edge browser that is based on Chromium. It's a quasi-completely reboot for the browser, except they're keeping the same name, or at least it appears so. And I've said, uh, hey, they're going to be doing a preview here soon. And while it's not fully publicly available yet, I, get, I was able to get my hands on it. So I've got a little video, some screenshots. We're going to walk through it here. Nothing overly crazy surprising, but I will tell you there are a couple features in there that uh, make me really happy. And, and well, let's just dive in, shall we? So when you first boot it up or install it, it's going to look really dang familiar because it looks exactly like Chrome in most instances. Now, that you'll start to see some sort of Microsoft isms shining through, but we're not seeing a whole lot of that yet. And so this was upon first boot. I injected or imported, which gives you the option here to bring in some of your data. And there's also a couple different design layouts, which we'll walk through here in a second. But this is what you're going to see when you first install uh, the new Edge browser, or if you boot up a PC and this is installed as the default browser when that starts happening later this year or sometime early next year. So let's just dive in. So I installed the browser and this is what I see every time I open it up because the, the landing page here is pretty flexible actually. If you click the little icon in the top right corner, you can see the different options that you have. I personally like inspirational, but you know what? Do what you do best and choose your own adventure here. And you got a little customization options as well to make it just a little bit more uniquely yours. And so popping up uh, Wikipedia here, if I could spell correctly, but just it shows that, hey, the browser is relatively quick. It, it's... <laughs> There's no lag, and this was just me recording the screen. Of course, I do have a good internet connection, and if you right mouse click, although the context menu did not record in my screen recording, um, you can go and, and there's a nice context menu. Now, I wanted to show here what happens when you go to a page that tries to harass you with notifications. Oh, and they don't show up, unfortunately, but it has that ability to block or allow uh, push notifications to the desktop. We all know what I'm talking about here. And again, the settings menu not showing up, but we will uh, we'll get that pasted in there. And one of my favorite features is, is that you can turn web pages into apps and install them to your desktop. Now, on the settings page here, I'm just gonna walk through these. If you wanna dive deeper, just pause it on any single one, but that shows you some of the settings that are available in the new Edgium browser. And I call it Edgium because it's Edge based on Chromium, but here's just you know some of the basic settings that you're gonna get out of the box. And it's relatively full featured for a client that Microsoft hasn't been working on all that long. Now, granted, this is based on the Edgium or the, the Chromium sub subsystem there. So it's not like they have a ton of work to do, but they did have to build all of this in some of the UI. And you can see it's not quite fully Microsoft Microsoftified, if you want to call it, or fluenty or whatever. But these are some of the settings. Now, the one thing that's not here is dark mode. And you might be thinking, crap, I really want dark mode. But just like in Chrome, you can enable the flags. And if you search dark, bam, there it is. Now, I'm not going to fully enable it here because you have to restart the browser. But dark mode is there. So... Uh, here's just, you know, a super quick look. Here's, I'm going to just scroll through again. Feel free to pause if uh, you want to dive anything into any of these. There's tons and tons and tons of flags. But at the end of the day, it's just a browser and it's a Microsoft version of Chrome and it works really well. And candidly, the extensions work from both the Microsoft Store and the Google Store. So there's no issue with compatibility on that side. They just, you kind of install them. I, put, I plugged in Grammarly. I did have a little issue with one password, which I, I still got to play around with to see if I can get it working better. But that being said, I mean, it's... It's a, it's a browser at the end of the day. I, I don't know what else to tell you. It, it performs like Chrome because it's based on Chrome. Um, I'm actually very happy with the performance and how everything is shaping up to be because I think this is going to be Microsoft's bet, bet, best bet at getting a lot of people to actually use their browser. Because if you like Chrome, but you don't like that it's Google's, uh, well, this might be your, your better option. Yes, there's plenty of other ones like Brave and a whole bunch of stuff, but this was Microsoft's built into Windows. The question will be is, can they get people to use this? That's another question. But, you know, for an early first impression, and we're going to see a public preview here in the near future. I don't know exactly when still, but the fact that I was able to get my hands on this means that it's got to be coming soon. Uh, it's a relatively good browser. Honestly, I'm probably going to be using this as my daily driver for a while until I find a reason not to. But here you go, guys. 
Um, that's just a, a quick first look at Microsoft's brand new Edgium browser. So far, so good. We will, we will see what else Microsoft has up their sleeve because they've got a lot invested into making this browser the best available. And now that they're not building the engine, it should mean that they have a lot more time focusing on the end user features to try to differentiate it from Chrome. That's all good signs. Better browsers are better for everybody. And we will see what Microsoft and Google and everybody else has up their sleeve to try to make their own browsers better.